so today I am getting a llama. I have been wanting a llama for like years. Years. I've always been trying to convince Alex um, that we need an alpaca or a llama <laughs> and we're finally getting one. Um, we found one. It took us a while to find some around here. They are delivering it to us today. They're about three hours away. So it should be here. What time is it? Um, should be here in about two hours. So we are doing a little bit um, of some prepping that we still have to finish up before it gets here. Alex is, oh, we have another pasture over here. You can see them all the way over there. But we have another that section of pasture that we still had to cross fence half of off. Um, so we're just working on that. And then I am going to set up like a temporary electric fence area for our pig. Um, we have another field up on the front other side of the house. And we're going to use him. Um, we're going to put him up there and kind of give him a large area to roam around and um, there's some brush up there that hopefully um, he will root up and kind of till the ground for us so that um, it'll be a lot easier to clear. Pigs naturally do that. I don't know if you guys, any of you guys um, watch Justin Rhodes, but we kind of, well I don't know about Alex, but um, I learned about it from watching him and he uses his pigs to do that and then his chickens to go behind and um, comb it out and so it's a pretty cool concept. So we're going to try that out with our little pig and I'm going to be setting that up today and we already have um, the plan of where we're going to put the llama to introduce to our sheep. She, we're getting a female and she is going to be um, a guard for our sheep, for just the girls. So she's going to become part of their herd and we're only going to get one so that she will attach herself to our girls and then after a couple of days of them getting used to each other um, we will start to be able to let them out all together to graze with each other and she'll watch over them and I don't know it's pretty neat how they work <coughs> Animals are not hunters. No. Not a tiger. How's your fence going? Get an ice build fence. I'm making a little boss so tigers will die. Mm. And this is the laser. Yeah. If run, the big one runs into us, then he'll die. But if I run into us, I won't die. Oh, for the tigers. The tigers are almost coming. Look, it's Tina in the sunset. She still hates me, you guys. I come out and she starts walking away from me. Hey guys. So tonight, me and Jackson, and Garen. He's back there somewhere. We're gonna put the llama and the sheep pen. Let's see how that goes. Looks like maybe she's already in there. That because me from the ram. Yeah. We've been trying to get the llama in this pen for about five days. Been graining her, graining her every day. And getting her kind of used to grain. Today's the first day that she's actually gone in there to eat the grain. He's got a lot of diarrhea right now. I think he's been messing in the grain or something. He's fat. What a big boy. Oh, big boy. Okay, close the gate. You're safe? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, you're safe. Me and Jackson, we will risk life and limb. And we've been... Sorry, I have to pull down. She's getting a little nervous. But we've been trying to... We've been trying to put her in this pen for about eight days. I mean, she's real suspicious of being pinned up. But we finally got her. And Jenny wants to try to start grinding her and training her. So she can pet her. You go slow, son. She's kind of already bonded with our sheep. We've been letting them out together. Yeah. Nothing tames up animals like treats, right? Hey, don't get her too stirred up. Hang on. Wow, oh, look at that sunset, guys. Really pretty. Okay, so right now we're heading over to get the the ewes and all the yearlings. We're gonna put them in with the llama, but also I do want to put them in there. That's there. That's kind of the pen we built to keep them safe. All the predators we've been having trouble with. Jenny's gonna be excited. These guys, they're really easy. They just grain. They'll go anywhere for grain. Right? Look at that. Come on, girls. You shake the magic. Look at that. So for the first time in eight days, we have all the sh the ewes and the llama in the pen we built them. Look at that sunset. Man, that's pretty. Just because we wanted to be kind of gentle about it and give her some grain, but she came. Jenny's been wanting a llama. I'm sure she's told you guys all about it, but um, she wasn't super tame. She wasn't bottle fed, but we were glad to get her. Uh, we, sh we super appreciated the people that drove her down to us. But it's just gonna be a matter of time. And, uh, get her all grained up. <laughs> Trained up. Yeah. Making progress. This is probably the closest I've ever been to Tina. She likes that grain though. I think that's what's gonna help us. Hi Tina. Tina kind of likes Garen. Yeah. Tina eat the food. <laughs> 